up here, you can see people slowly filing in. I've been told that every single ticket has been sold here tonight. That's 10,142 people. That's a brand new record crowd for British ice hockey. Now I've got a couple of those fans just over here. Hi guys, how you doing? Hi. Now who's your favorite team tonight? Panthers! And what are you gonna shout tonight? Panthers! I love your face. Let's get, get a good look at this face. Say hi to your mom. Hi. <laughs> Now, if you guys are sitting home at your cozy, warm living room and you're wondering how these two teams got to the final, well, sit tight, stay tuned, because this is how they did it. Nottingham, a city built with money made from lace. A city famous for its legendary hero, Robin Hood, its cricket ground on the south bank of the Dunkin' Trent, its two football teams, County and Forest, and its ice stadium. Home of Torval and Dean, and of course, the Nottingham Panthers, winners of ice hockey's Autumn Cup competition in 1986, 1991, and 1994, when Rick Brabant proudly held the loss to Benson and Hedges Cup after defeating Cardiff 7-2 in the final. The holders were thrown in with Sheffield in this year's group stage, losing to their arch rivals at home, but winning on the Steelers' own patch. In the quarter-final, they had a real struggle to head off the Bison. Basingstoke won the first leg 5-4. With the Panthers not sure of their passage to the last four until the dying moments of a 7-4 home win in the second leg at Nottingham. The semi-final was altogether more comfortable. An outstanding display at Humberside brought a first leg victory by nine goals to three. Darren Durdle and Paul Lady both recording hat-tricks. The Hawks were unable to do anything in the second leg to dampen the spirit of the Panthers' bonfire night party as they cruised into a final meeting with the one team they most like to beat, Sheffield. They are a tremendous hockey team and it's in their own building. So uh, I think if anything, the pressure should be on them. They really need to win that game uh, in front of their own fans. And, uh, you know, we're, we're going in there to steal it. Though. We're going to be just like a normal Nottingham Sheffield game. It's going to be quite a loud. And, uh, hopefully we'll get the right result. They've got some uh, good offensive forwards and uh, they, they could break the game open if you give them too much room. And, and I think, you know, as, as far as we're concerned, we've got to shut those players down defensively and, and keep them from getting too many opportunities around our net. We're going to go there and give it everything we've got and hopefully bring that cup back to Nottingham again. Sheffield, the city built on seven hills and built on the sweat of its steel workers. Sheffield is famous for splendid old architecture and superb modern cultural and sporting facilities. Amongst the of them, it's state-of-the-art arena, home of the Sheffield Steelers. Founded just four years ago, they won their first silverware last year with a league and championship double. Having bowed out of the Benson and Hedges Cup in the semi-finals to Cardiff Devils earlier in the season. That's their best so far in the Cup. They're determined to improve on that this year. Sheffield topped their group, beating everybody but Nottingham twice. And then came revenge for last season. A quarter-final win over Cardiff, built on a 7-3 away leg victory, inspired by former devil Mickey Chin. A lead which survived a 4-2 home defeat in the second leg, as the Devils really tested the Steelers' mettle. Sheffield were given an even tougher examination in the semi-final. In the first leg, they went down 5-3 to the five flyers. And they weren't able to draw level until four minutes from the end of the home leg, when a rocket from Ron Shudra sent the game into overtime. For Tony Hand to score the sudden death goal that gave them another game in the arena, their first ever Benson and Hedges Cup final. Well, I don't really think it's home ice. Nottingham will play very well on our rink. Uh, they've beaten us there. Uh, it's just another arena, you know, when it's a one-off game. We've got to go out and, and uh, like I said before, try and exploit a little uh, a little opening here and there and, and uh, basically try and shut down, um, you know, Paul Eddy and, and these guys that, uh, that have a lot of firepower up front. At the moment, they're riding high, they're, they're full of confidence and they're, they're playing well as a unit. And uh, I think basically we, uh, we know what their strengths are. The bring makes for a great final, and I don't think it'll be any more than uh, a couple of goals in it at the end of the game. I hope that'll be for us. 
pretty close is right just four goals separate them after 16 matches between the two sides Sheffield are just ahead on victory between the two teams they've played each other 16 times it's all been pretty close that's what we're expecting in the final John Lawless actually the Sheffield Steelers seem to make harder work of getting here in the first place yeah you know they uh, got here in the semi-final and overtime and I think that could be a positive thing uh, a lot of people think well may hard work of it maybe they're drawn uh, a little bit but I think um, you know they now believe in themselves that if they do get a couple of goals behind that they can come back uh, one of the negative things of getting here so easily with the with the Nottingham Panthers is that they might start uh, believing that you know well, this is uh, hey guys we blew out Humberside um, I don't think that they'll get lulled into that but uh, uh, I really think that that tough route for Sheffield could be a positive thing for Sheffield. The Nottingham Panthers, though, won it last year as well. In some senses, are they a, a cup team? I mean, are they suited to this kind of competition? They are. They've had a very good record in this in the Autumn Cup, now the Benson Hedges Cup. Um, they, they've proven the fact that they're a big game team. Uh, like I said earlier on, Sheffield are too. In the last, say, two or three years, these teams have been there thereabouts for these major championships. So um, but I don't think the occasion will get the better of either team. Thank you for the moment, John. Well, not all ice surfaces are exactly the same. Rinks vary in a number of different ways. To give you an insight to this one, our experts summarized it on the Bob Coral took a skate earlier on this afternoon. Ice. Is it important to a player? You bet it is. If it's hard, players will have to get their skates sharpened. If it's soft, they probably won't get their skates sharpened. This ice here at Sheffield today for this Benson and Hedges final is very hard. I think the players will have their skates sharpened today and they'll certainly be using that to key their game in and take the advantage. Let's talk about barriers. Are the barriers in the Sheffield Arena here, are they lively? Can players use that to their advantage? You'll see a team coming into the offensive zone, and they'll actually shoot the puck into the zone to gain possession. That's the purpose behind shooting the puck in the zone. So take advantage of that by whether the, the boards will be lively or whether they're flat. In this particular situation, the Sheffield Arena, the boards are very, very lively, and the puck plays against them very well. Keep an eye on that during the game. Bob Coral, doing the action, will provide you with an insight right through the whole of the three periods. The three periods of the period of the Benson Hedges Cup Final coming here live and exclusively on Sky. You can enjoy more of the pre-match atmosphere and expert comments from John Lawless in the build-up, but shortly, it's crunch time for the Steelers and the Panthers. You're watching Sky Sports.